Hello and welcome to Two Hopes Garage. My name is Jace. Thank you very much for joining us. Today is part two of the Mercedes W126 Transmission Removal Series. Um, and we've got a new tool in the garage. Uh, always good to get a new tool in the garage, even if it's just a cheap 46mm open-ended spanner. £12.49 worth of engineering solutions right here. Um, unfortunately, it's got a super sticky sticker. Not a fan of a super sticky sticker. And I'll need to get that off with some brake cleaner or something. Because uh, I'll just no cope. However, it'll do the day. Um, so, this is to get the centre lock nut loosened off on the prop shaft. So I'm hoping this will afford us sufficient access to getting about that and get that loosened off. Then we're looking at getting the flex disc sorted, probably lower the rear mount a bit. Um, and we'll see where we go from there. Because um, you, you know how it goes. These things can take ages or they can be done in a few minutes. Ah, we'll see how we go from there. So, uh, aye, no further waffle. Let's get in amongst that Mercedes W126. Cheers. Right, there's the prop shaft there. May or may not be able to tell. I've dropped the exhaust a bit more for this. There's our centre nut that we're looking to get on. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Oh, there we go. I actually got a good crack at that earlier on. Um, and managed to... Managed to get it moving. Aye, there we go. Aye, when I moved it earlier, um, there we go. There was quite that. Actually, might be hand tight. The rubber and the uh, oh, there we are. I'm not sure how much we're meant to be loosening this thing. I think it's just a bit to let the, the slip joint move. So. I may have to take it right off. I don't know when it comes off. I think we'll leave it at that. Um, yeah, that'll do. I think we'll get the transmission jack under the... Uh, Transmission pan. Fantastic. Chuffed with that. That that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um it probably helps that all this looks quite nice in here still. Alright, next up I've got a wee transmission jack for the floor here. Seeing as I'm not on a big high lift. And I'm just going to support the transmission pan. Um, it's just a wee, it's basically just a wee scissor lift with a plate and a ratchet strap on it and some casters. So I'm hoping it's going to be up for the job. Um, so what we'll do initially is just get that to take a wee bit of weight. It's just on a half inch drive ratchet. It seems quite handy. I might need to shugal it about later just to uh, make sure the weight's distributed nicely. For the moment, that'll do. So let's see if we can get a transmission mount plate off of here now. We've got four 17mm uh, bolts going through, uh, bolting it onto the chassis. And we have got a couple of 13mm, I think, I'll put it up on the video there somewhere, um, holding the actual transmission mount just on top of that to the plate. Let's go for, what we go for? Let's go for these. And I've got my trusty Chicago pneumatic that I bought myself, not sponsored, although Chicago pneumatic, if you want to sponsor me, I am more than happy for you to do so, because I do like your products. Let's see if this is man enough to get the um, the bolt off. 
Oh. Yeah, got a love in here too. It also rotated my lighting. All right, let's get these other ones off. Oh. Also making sure before you remove the bolts that your uh, transmission is supported. Oh yeah. You see it all moving down there? So everything is on that. So I'm not sure if you saw the movement, but what happened essentially there was as the third bolt came out, the plate dropped down quite a bit. So although the transmission is supported, I'm not sure the jack's in shot at the moment, I have just cranked it up a wee bit um, just to bring that plate back a bit closer to the chassis again. Um, obviously, as you take the bolts out, it's uh, it's going to want to move down a wee bit. So just if, if you've got a bit of movement and that plate's pulling away, crank up your support for your uh, transmission and uh, bring that plate back up. So you've not got too much of a jump when the uh, final bolt comes out. There we go. So that's our four bolts that attach the transmission mount plate to the chassis. Next up, we'll take the uh, two bolts out that attach the mount to that plate, and they're on the 13, I hope. Here's the thing, take those two bolts out first, because obviously the transmission mount has got rubber bits in it. And once you've taken away that solid foundation of the transmission mount plate been attached to the chassis, those rubber bits are free to move around an awful lot. So I've stuck one bolt back in here, let's see if that helps. Marvellous. That one's out. And that one's out. Let's weak out this now. There we go. I think it's getting near the time to spark up the parts washer and get some of these components cleaned. I'll give you a wee shot at the uh, back of the transmission mount. I would say it's possibly seen better days. There we are. Do you know what? It could be worse, but it could be better. So I think we'll get a new one of them on order. Next up, let's get the uh, flex disc disconnected. And this one actually looks remarkably nice. But while I'm down here, although I don't need to take this off just now, I think I'm just going to whip this off. As you can see, this definitely needs replaced. You can see the rubber uh, splitting just where it mounts to the metal there. So I'm going to whip this off and um, we'll get a new one of these ordered up. Now there's a 19mm bolt up top. It's pretty tight and uh, that was the result of loosening it off. So um, yeah. We'll pop this off just now. Yeah, this was um, definitely a lot of effort to slacken this off initially. But we'll get it off, we'll get it out of the way. Um, it'll just give us a wee bit more access to the flex disc as well. Ah, it's a nut. I thought it was a bolt. There we go. That's us. At this point here, we're going to remove the three bolts that hold the prop shaft to the flex disc. Uh, bolt head is a 15 and the nut is a 17. I normally work off the workshop manual. Unfortunately, in the Mercedes case, I don't have a workshop manual yet. There's a big bolt with a bit of corrosion on it. That's probably cadmium corrosion. Don't be breathing that in or licking that. That's not good stuff. Uh -huh. There's the washer. 
And last but not least, this is kind of tucked out the way. And so on the front, I've just ended up taking all the bolts out rather than just disconnecting the prop shaft. So I've taken the bolts out from the prop shaft to the flex disc and also from the transmission to the flex to the flex disc. Um, the, wheel, the wheels are on uh, well the, the wheels are on pads so they're not rotating so um, the two top ones um, up here and round at the side here. I had some problems accessing them, but they, um, yeah, they, they came out okay. I got an air ratchet on them in the end, and um, yeah, we've got them disconnected. So I think we'll go up to the rear, disconnect the rear, then we'll drop the centre bearing carrier and probably wheel the prop shaft out at that. As with the front, the rear um, is a 15 mil on the bolt and a 17 on the nut. Uh, this one was a wee bit reluctant initially, but we're cooking with gas now. Uh, what I have done, I don't know if I need to do, but it's always good to mark stuff up, is just mark up the prop shaft's position relative to the axle. Obviously, there's no point in marking it up relative to the flex disc because that's coming off anyway. This flex disc on the rear is actually showing quite a lot of signs of age, whereas the front flex disc actually looked pretty new. So um, I will crack on with getting this off for the moment. There we go. There we are, first one out. So this one here, I've had to bust out the smaller snap-on 17mm spanner for the back, just for access, and because it was pretty tight, the, the half-inch ratchet um, on the front. So you get a bit of a longer handle. So here's what we've got going on here. Um, in an entirely Heath Robinson attempt, to stop the prop shaft halves from separating. And in the absence of a bit of aircraft wire locking, which I was hoping I had somewhere, I've got uh, a handy dandy selection of tie wraps looped round the UJ and the centre lock nut and then joined together just to prevent, hopefully, movement um, for them to separate. And in the absence of that, I've got a couple of a couple of lines marked on there in order if they do separate I can get them back together in the same position. So I've got that going on there. Down at the front end we have a bit of this. So down at the front end I've just had a pry bar under um, the prop shaft here. And as you can see it started to separate. So I'm going to give that another wee pry. Hopefully that will get enough rearward movement to come away from there. We'll have a wee crack with a biggish pry bar. There we go. Let's see if we can get a bit of movement rear on that. Which looks like we can. Question is... I get a flex disc out. The answer to that might be no, but that's okay. We'll persevere. Oops. There we go. That's definitely dismounted from something. Uh, I think I'll head up the back 
and see what I can do up the back end. We're up at the back of the prop shaft. I took all the bolts off, so the three bolts from the uh, prop shaft to flexi disc and the three bolts from the input of the diff to the flexi disc off. This flex disc's pretty knackered, it's old, it's cracked um, and it was uh, completely solidly located one of these arms up here and it really wasn't wanted to come off. However, I think, well, yeah, we've got it free. There we go. So, yes, just wondering what way to take it out the car. Do we go up the back? Or maybe go up the back. Let's do that. So yeah, it's uh, it's obviously disconnected at the front. Uh, the bearing carrier's disconnected. What I don't want to do at the moment is um, when I'm taking it out, I don't want the two halves to split. However, that's all cunningly tie wrapped. <laughs> so hopefully that plan's going to work for keeping it together. There we go, out it comes. And there we go. Prop shaft is out. So that's the prop shaft out. I just thought I'd let you see the centre bearing carrier. As you can see there, um, this rubber is absolutely knackered. There, shine from behind it. There we go. Um, so we'll get a new one of them on order and we'll, we'll need to split the ship prop shaft and, and get that replaced. But that's okay. I actually suspect that mostly get damaged coming out, but that's fine. It'll, uh, it'll get a nice new one, we'll pop it back in and it'll all be grand. So that's the prop shaft out of the Mercedes. Apologies for this video taking as long as it did to get out there. Um, I was at the Foo Fighters down in Hamden, Glasgow um, on Monday, Tuesday. Um, so that, that put a wee bit of a delay on things. And uh, if I'm perfectly honest, the prop shaft was a bit of a pain in the backside to get out. Um, we got there in the end uh, with the pad car sitting on pads. I was unable to rotate the flex discs to get good access on the bolts. And also the rear flex disc in particular was uh, absolutely welded on to the, um, the, the mounts either side of it. And uh, it wasn't willing to relinquish its grip on them too easily. There was uh, a lot of pry bars and a lot of swearing and a lot of penetrating oil involved in that. But we got we got there in the end. Prop shafts out. I was going to put some of the other bits and pieces onto this video, but I think we'll just get it out there. And there'll be a part three with, uh, we'll drop the transmission a wee bit lower, get in amongst all the ancillary bits and pieces, speedo cable, neutral safety switch, all, all the good stuff. And um, yeah, get that video out, hopefully a bit quicker than this one. So, um, Thank you so much for uh, tuning in and watching this. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I'll put a link down there as usual to, well, do part one of the Mercedes uh, transmission removal, the initial prep, and we'll put another video up there. It'll be grand. So if you've not subscribed already, feel free to subscribe. It would make me the happiest man in the world. Uh, and it's, it's free, which is a good thing. And if you're not subscribing, do, do, do us a big favour. Press the like button if you've enjoyed it. All little fireworks come off the like button now. It's brilliant. So it's it's entertainment in itself. So um, I hope to see you again. Uh, until the next time, take care and thanks very much for watching. Cheers. <laughs>